and Jean Serge Gagnon here today we're going to talk about attraction marketing what is attraction marketing how do you use it to build your business why do you need attraction marketing in 2020 what's the big deal about attraction marketing and is it any different today than it was you know a couple of years ago five years ago ten years ago and what has changed and why today is the day that you really need to start using attraction marketing if you're trying to build a business online so what is attraction marketing we're going to get into that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So in 2020, if you're watching this or hearing about this along for you know years from now, if you're seeing this video, I mean obviously things are going to be changing, but in 2020, with the COVID, with the coronavirus and all this craziness that's going on, definitely there's a shift to doing more business online than there ever was because lots of people that's the only way they can generate income there's people that have jobs that they lost jobs because of the virus or so not the virus itself but you know the whole the whole situation the closures of businesses the the government stepping in to to prevent businesses from allowing customers because they're a business that that you know like movie theaters or restaurants you know places that are meant to have people come together those were shut down so of course those people lost their jobs or at least they're not able to, to 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 work as many hours or as much income or they they have lower income so all that's happening it's been happening since you know March since March 2020 now we're in almost in what well, we're in July and you're we're starting to see that happen but even then you know a month in after the virus people started doing things online more people businesses started using online what does that have anything to do with attraction marketing first of all let's go back let's explain a little bit about attraction marketing so attraction marketing is about producing content that people will know so that they get to like you or your business right so we, it can be ads right you can do ads you can promote your business spending money you can spend tons of money promoting your business on social media on platforms on you know banner ads all these different things you can do online where you promote your business promote your brand promote your your product all that stuff that's possible that's that's still attraction marketing but you really want to tie it in with personal branding and we talk about personal branding in other episodes by the way if you're watching this live go ahead and comment what are you doing in terms of attraction marketing and if you're watching the replay I'd still love to know because I always go back and I always look at all the comments I always you know see and reply and, and 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 answer any questions so I would love to hear from you what is it that you're trying to figure out about attraction marketing about personal branding why are you struggling right what do you think is your reason your biggest struggle with building a presence online because you know I know that for me one of the struggles I have is time right I mean I have a day job I have a family I have a house to take care of um you know and since COVID I'm, I'm home but uh, outside of that before then I've been working remotely for like five years so there's lots of stuff in my life that is kind of in the way of really doing this um this attraction marketing personal branding thing but I've found a way to you know focus and do certain things like doing these episodes every day and posting it uh, you know doing a, a YouTube video Facebook video uh, posting on different platforms syndicating the content across all these different platforms you know because this is what I do so this is one of the things so attraction marketing so attraction marketing is just really the basics of it and this is my definition obviously it's based on what I've seen elsewhere and how people you know what I've what I've um, uh, had uh, my experience with it right but you know if you look at uh, you look it up you'll see similar descriptions but for me traction marketing is about producing content that to attract people to you right attract people to you instead of you having to go out it's kind of like the difference between a storefront that is on a busy street where you 
people just come into your store because they like the display because they like they know either they maybe they even know the name of your business maybe they've seen ads or something but they're attracted to your business and they walk into the door and they look at your stuff and they buy things right so that's they're attracted to your business that's what you do you got a busy location and that's what you do but if say you're in a super secluded area in the in the city you're not going to be able to get people to come to you if by just walking by right you're going to have to provide produce content either ads or anything like that in the newspapers or radio or whatever to get people to come to your shop you're going to have to have some sort of thing that makes them want to come to you right if you're not in the right area so that's kind of similar online online you want to attract people to you that's the easy way you got to find the right place the right location the right environment to have people come to you and then you have to have the right content and this is kind of like you know your storefront versus having a store with boarded up windows that you can't even see inside nobody's going to want to go in that store unless they already know about you so that's difficult right so that's why the stores have these open windows and you can see inside you can see everything they have they have colorful displays all these things to attract people in right that's attraction marketing attracting people to you right so how do you do that online well there's lots of ways like I said you can spend money on ads but for me it's all about producing content and then sharing it across different platforms now you don't have to do that you can share just in one platform and focus on that platform I talk about engagement and how to do social media engagement and all that stuff in other episodes so definitely go to my blog and go check that out but here's let me just share with you let me just share my screen here and let's just go to um let's just kind of show you a little bit what I do okay so let's just open up a new tab here I'm just going to share my screen all right so say uh you so so for me what I do is I record a video like right now I'm recording this video I'm actually going to show you the video I'm actually recording you see this this is like this is a, an app called OBS I record this video and then what I do is I take that video I actually have let's show you here I actually have uh what's the best way I can show you that I have a script so I've got so I I'm a geek a little bit of a geek so I I, I run a, a, a program that converts all my here let's show you converts all of my content so like say for example yesterday's episode which was how to get TikTok influence to work with you right so what I did is I run this a script and you can do this manually obviously but as a programmer I figured out how to do it so it's really quick it takes me just a few minutes all I got to do is write up the blog post and then I put text in these files here uh, like this file here for example this is the text in the full the blog post right the whole blog post whoops I, I don't know if you can you can kind of see so that's the blog post it's just a text file right I just but I don't obviously I don't do that I do if I go I actually go to my blog let's go to my blog so this is my blog right so I I've, I've uh, I actually re just recently I changed my blog to this new format right so um all I do is I go to my blog and I go to the uh the the um well, you know the back end edit editor and I go in the posts and I create a new post so I just create a new post and then I I create my oh I, I guess you're not seeing all that oh uh, let me just resize and move this a little bit away so let's go back I'm just going to cancel that okay so I go to my blog right to my wordpress blog and then I just click on add new post right here and then I start writing the new post you know and I take the text from the other uh file over here actually it's over here let's uh, go to let's go to uh media here of course all right so now I go to the directory of my video whoops actually that's the one today which has nothing in it yet let me just go over here number two okay and then in this directory now I have all these different files let's just resize this a bit and so what I do is I take this file here and I have this uh Facebook file which contains all the text for Facebook so I take that and I take this text here 
and then I go to my editor and I just create that that's the title for it well obviously it'll be 171 now the one that I'm doing right now but I post that in there so if you're listening to the audio obviously you should be going to watch the video there's going to be a link to go uh, watch that but and that's the thing so I create that and then I share it so amongst the other so if I go to Facebook for example you can see that I have shared uh, different episodes right if I go to my page actually let's go to the pages so first what I do is I uh, this is it feels like I'm explaining to you this stuff that's all I'm all over the place but the thing is that okay so first I record the episode like I'm doing right now I'm recording this episode and then what I do is I create a blog post with the episode content text I you can get somebody to transcribe the video if you wanted that kind of stuff but I also upload it to my YouTube channel right so if I go to youtube.com in my um my channel let's go over here my channel so in my channel what I do is I go where is it uh, YouTube studio okay so in my videos right here right you can see that I've got all these videos so these are the videos I, I post so I take these these the, this episode I'm recording right now then I upload it to YouTube and then I edit my blog post let's just cancel this I edit my blog post like this one I did yesterday right and I add the video to the blog post right so I add the video to the blog post right here and that's and then then I then I publish the the post then I update my um my DNS provider to create this content but the point of all this is that for attraction marketing for you to build a business online if you're trying to sell a course or trying to build a business trying to do anything you need to have people watching you and getting to know you and getting to like you so that they're attracted to you right and for you to do that you need content now you don't have to go through this whole complicated process of everything I do and maybe one day I'm going to do a proper training on all the steps that I go through because I've done this a few times where I talk about the things that I do and what I post and how I do it but um but that's the thing so the, you know I've got this whole process whole process actually let me show you I probably have the I probably have that in here uh, where was that I did have that in here I think maybe I have it in this document topics what to do I had a file I had a document that had the steps where is it topics list no that's not it uh, I don't know I thought it would have been in here uh, I'll have to find it again maybe anyways I had a document that listed all the steps all this you know create the, the video or record it upload it to YouTube create the blog post write it up up add, add the add the add the featured image uh, uh, post to Facebook post to LinkedIn post to Instagram create the story all these things they're all outlined as steps right one two three four five and it's just everything I have to do it takes a while uh if you're not used to it it could take you you know a couple hours a day to do this for me I'm down to probably an hour an hour and a half a day so right so I record the video in the morning and then what I do is I do the rest in the after I do the rest at lunchtime right so then I can do all this in you know the time I have because I in my day job I I have the I have the lunchtime I have the lunchtime that I can do it or before I start work right so that's how I can do the video and do all these other things but you know if you look here you can see right here so I got all these videos that I did these course income once like so 160 161 162 163 I have all those there right then if I go to Facebook I also have them on my course income secrets page where I have now I haven't really been promoting the page that's why I just have a few hundred uh, not even look 22 people like this so please go ahead and like this page course income secrets on Facebook if you're on Facebook go Facebook and search for course income secrets and go ahead and like the page so that would be awesome if you could do that but in here I post all the videos as well as you can see right here then what I do is I share that video to my profile so if I go to my profile 
over here in my actual profile right I go to my profile you're going to see I have these videos that I'm sharing here so I've got other things I shared too but say this one here number 170 which was from yesterday I shared that here and then I shared you know uh which uh, where's the other one so this one here which was 168 and then there's 167 down here right here 167 right so I'm sharing then this LinkedIn one right here 166 so all these things I'm sharing on my Facebook and I'm sharing on my Facebook and then I also share to Facebook groups so I do that that just takes a few minutes right that's in there and then in Instagram I do the same thing I've got Instagram my Instagram account right when I go to Instagram uh let's see if it'll, it'll let, I haven't been logged in for quite a while uh no I don't want that I go to my profile and you can see I'm posting these over here I'm getting not a lot of not a ton of views not a ton of comments but I do post these videos here too so if I go into my uh, IGTV if you just see the IGTV they're all right here right so 168 169 170 they're all in there as well for IGTV on IG on Instagram right so I post that on there that's one of the things I do these are all me as you can see it's just me 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 but the thing is that the the reason why you do that is so that people get to see you online they start to notice you they start to think this is somebody maybe I should be following right and but you know if I if it's just just one of the places you you post you don't have to do what I do uh, you don't have to I'm not saying you got to do that just go and start sharing on one platform just focus on one platform what's important is for you to start to build an attractive character that when if you look at these books I have behind me right these books here from Russell Brunson he talks about how to build your fan base he talks about especially in the expert secrets book he talks about the attractive character he talks about the email list that's the other thing I do so if I go to my Aweber which is where I have my email list if I go to Aweber you can see in my uh let's just uh, broadcast messages broadcast do I do can you see that here yeah so I've got these messages that I've sent to my list I'm not getting enough open so I got to clean up my list probably and and this is the thing I don't have a million people on my list but I send these messages these are the next messages scheduled what I do is my uh, and that I'm not saying that's the best approach it's just because I'm doing all these things you know you got to learn you got to get good at one thing get good at it get good at it do it do it do it do it do it and eventually you can get even better at it right so if I just look at this video here which is the number 170 that I did yesterday I have an email that I'm doing like this um it's you'll see it here so I got the video I got the I create a gif image of the video which is kind of like a a thumbnail with the but a moving right so that's actually going to be sent in the email with the gif over here with a moving image and then I cut a part of the blog in here and I put a link at the bottom you can't yeah oh you can't even see that sorry about that yeah so you got this gif image right here in the in the vid in the email right you can get this a gif is just a part of a video or it's an it's a moving image right or a gif I don't know right I create that and then I put that in there and then I take a part of the blog post and I put it inside this inside this email with a link at the bottom down here if you look you see down the bottom there's a link to the actual blog post and if they click on the image they'll also get uh, let's go back here if you click on the image they'll also go to the blog post I do that right uh, so that's one that's one of the things I do with my email list I do that and the other thing I do I also have this other automated thing which is called social jukebox so social jukebox is a tool that lets you organize uh what they call jukeboxes so in my jukeboxes what I do if I go to my blog post right here uh let's just uh, do this uh, so what I do in here is I create these different entries in in a juke this is called a jukebox so you see right here there's all these all these images and these posts they're basically created and then 
they're like organized so there's they're posted you set up a schedule right so if I look at the schedule for example right here what you do is you got this schedule let's just see so you got this schedule where you say okay I want you know this jukebox to be to send one so you got it okay here's how it works so you got like a jukebox which is basically a set of of uh, of posts you can have 50 100 200 whatever you want in your jukebox and then that the the process is at a certain time during the day I want you to take a random entry in that jukebox and post it to this platform so you can be either LinkedIn Facebook or Twitter so it takes one of those and posts it automatically and you can have it like right now you see right here where it's it's the the, the way it works is that these different little colors are different um different jukeboxes um and at a certain time during the day it'll it does 26 posts right here uh between two and three which is a lot right but you can see there's a lot of posts right here and it's just basically posts to my Twitter so if I go to Twitter right for example let's just go to Twitter if I go to my Twitter and I look at my profile that's right over here you're going to see that I've got so I've got 12,000 followers uh, uh well not exactly 11.8 followers right 0.8k followers so you can see that there's been these posts here right 54 minutes ago one hour ago there's been these posts that I've been posting and people are you know if they're following me I I'm not really active that's why we're not seeing <laughs> too many things but even then these are automated I don't have to worry I don't have to I don't have to worry about them look this so this is a, a video see this is an old an older one number 143 it got posted automatically in my in my news feed in my timeline if you will or whatever it's called on Twitter I don't I don't really remember what it's called but if I go and I look at my analytics over here even though I'm not super active there's still you know 20 229 tweets five new followers 26 profile visits that's really nothing compared to you know what it might have been before it used to be I got 29 mentions so 28 followers lost new five new ones but that's the thing right so I mean it's going down probably because I'm not on it I'm not active on it and I'm not really engaging I'm not doing anything on there right but uh but yeah so that's that's the thing so I start like I said I start with a video I upload it to YouTube I create a blog post and then I share it on different platforms so what I do on LinkedIn and on on um, Instagram is I actually take just the first four minutes or four minutes 30 seconds of the video which this video right now is at 22 minutes 23 minutes this uh episode and what I do is I take the first four and then at the end of that video I actually have like say if I do this I'll show you here no sound let's turn the sound off but if I go here you can see at the end I just have this thing at the end which tells people to go to this this go to where they can find out more right and they can actually go to this link as well I didn't realize you could do that on oh that's cool you can actually click on links inside of Instagram if you're looking at it online I didn't know that um, but yeah so this is the video here and I at the end I just put that in there so as you can see the video plays it's obviously not the format for LinkedIn probably could be better if it was the LinkedIn format but you can actually see that that's what I'm posting and people will see this and they'll maybe hopefully somebody will go to but the point is I want everybody to come to my blog because that's where I have let's just go back to the blog this is where I have ways for them to join my list I gotta I probably have to fix that I just updated my blog yesterday to this new blog and this is the new this is the new look of my blog look at that dear so what do you think of this blog format right how is it how do you like that tell me do you like this new blog format compared to the one I had before if you haven't seen it I even have videos down the bottom here I got these cool moving things and at the top of the page it kind of shows these things moving right sideways like that and it it's a, a, a sliding thing and then you got the top top videos up here and I really like this new blog post and you got all the 
the, the all the categories on the side here you can go directly to the categories and you even have the date and time up there it's like a clock as well which is kind of cool right anyways so that's how you get attraction marketing you got to create content put content out there to get people to know you and like you and trust you to eventually buy from you that's what attraction marketing is about you gotta create content to attract people to you that's just how it is attraction marketing to get people to come to you I actually have a not an, an ebook if you go to master of simple master of simple.com master of simple.com let's just show you that right up here so master of simple.com right you go to master of simple.com you're going to get uh, the you're going to be able to get this free ebook just put your name and email in there and you get this top 10 simple online strategies to that actually attract customers to you the top 10 things that attract customers to you go fill that out go to masterofsimple.com put your name and email and get the free ebook to learn the real way to attract people to you so that you can build your business online and grow your fans and get sales all right we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.